Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. This is the long awaited, well overdue Santorini vlog and I'm going to start this vlog by giving you a quick tour of our beautiful villa, Villa Polaris. Of the main reasons I chose this villa was because of its location. We were just a short 10 minute walk to the beautiful town of Ia. After an hour of exploring the town, we discovered a restaurant called Lotta. I opted for the Greek style burger and it was absolutely unbelievable. After lunch, we headed down the infamous staircase to Amudi Bay. We passed through a restaurant called Sunset and headed along the cliff edge. After heading a further 10 minutes along the cliff edge trail, we were welcomed by a beautiful view of Ia from down below. However, the sun was beginning to set and the wind was starting to pick up, so we decided it was time to head home. Okay guys, so I don't know how well this comes across on camera, but the wind was actually quite severe um, and I was actually becoming a little bit concerned to be honest. There was leaves, branches, sand blowing all over the place and I actually thought that hammock was going to take off at one point. However, me and Francis decided to embrace it and enjoy the wind and after enjoying the heavenly gusts, we decided it was time to go out for dinner. Despite the hazardous conditions, me and Francis stumbled across a fantastic restaurant called Falami. This was literally my favorite meal for our entire stay. And for me, it was literally a 10 out of 10, especially with the brownie for dessert. What a fantastic first day. The next morning, we woke up with a craving for iced coffee. So we headed into the capital Fiera on our ATV. Once acquired, we then headed back to the villa for a chill day at the pool before heading to sunset at Amudi for dinner. If you love fresh fish, then I couldn't recommend a nicer restaurant. For the best experience, I suggest booking a table for half an hour before sunset. Oh, and go for the red snapper, you won't be disappointed. Thank you. This is normal sea bream. Red snapper. Yeah. This is a sea bream. Okay. That's a sea bass. Okay. That's it. What do you think is your, what's nicest? The big one. The big one. Yeah. The big one. We'll get that one. We'll do that one, yeah. We are in Amudi Bay. Amudi Bay. At Sunset Restaurant. Yeah. What we're um, having? We have ordered Greek salad, we have ordered scallops, and we have picked our own uh, red snapper to share with fried potatoes and rice. Okay, so we're in Fira. Is this Fira? Yes. The capital of Santorini? Yes. Nice. This is my Thank new friend. My nice to meet you. Okay guys, so we just got the bus from Ia, which is the little town where we're staying, to Fira, which is the capital, as our guy just said there. And we're gonna do a hike from Fira back to Ia. So we got the bus, it was 160 each, cheap as chips, and it took like 20 minutes. No aircon though, so that wasn't a vibe, but we're here now, quick breakfast, and then on with the hike in the midday sun. 
at one o'clock. Okay guys, so we are at Ego Mio. This is the place someone recommended. Actually, Francis' cousin recommended it to us. So we're here, there's one guy doing everything. He's making the coffees, he's taking the orders, he's cooking the eggs, he's making the pancakes, he's making the waffles. All the food looks absolutely delicious. We ordered two smoothies and I got pancakes. Francis got an omelette. So fingers crossed it's gonna be good. Okay, so breakfast was absolutely unbelievable. My pancakes were probably straight 10 out of 10. Francis got a lovely omelette. That was also 10 out of 10. We will be back here tomorrow. We're gonna drive our little June buggy, come here early, get breakfast, and head to the beach. There's a couple of things that we saw other people getting that we're gonna try tomorrow, 100%. Cheesecake pancakes. Okay guys, so it's just gone 20 past one. It's currently 29 degrees. And this is where we start our hike back to Ia from Fear. So I think it's around 10 kilometers and beautiful views all along the way. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with us and hopefully have a sick little hike. Also that's the volcano. I think Ia is over here. So that's where we're gonna be walking to. Looks pretty far to be honest. Let's keep going. So far it's took us 50 minutes to walk 2.2 kilometers. <laughs> Apparently this is 10 kilometers long. And we've just realized we've been walking for quite a while it seems. We've got to walk all the way along the mountainside, all the way over to there. So it's pretty far to walk. So we're quite confused. I think this is gonna be harder than what we thought. Okay, so we are 80 minutes in, just over four kilometers. We have been taking it extremely easy. We've been stopping to film, take photos. Now we're stopping for a cola light, which this is different to Coke Zero, and it's also different to Diet Coke, and it's really nice. But yeah, so we've got probably six kilometers left, but it's very, very hot. Very hot. Here is just that. I would highly, highly recommend that you do this walk and I would definitely recommend doing it from the era into here because, wow, I just don't know what to say. Well, the only reason I recommend doing it that way is because everyone that we've spoke to has also recommended that we did it that way. But, and it's, I think, a little bit more downhill coming this way, which makes it a little bit easier in the 30 degree heat. But the views are absolutely incredible. Such a nice walk. What did you find? A fig. Whoa, are you gonna eat it? No. Yeah, I wanna see inside it. Probably rotten. <gasps> there it is! Is that private property or can I maybe go? Wow, look at that red one. 
Are these actually plums here? Didn't they? How would we know? That doesn't really seem like a fig, I don't think, that one. Oh. Do you think you probably can't eat that? I don't know. What? what? If anyone knows what this fruit is, write it down below in the comments. I wouldn't eat it, but it's crazy. It's literally the most flavoursome fruit I think I've ever tried in my life. We don't even know if it's edible. It's so sweet, it tastes fake. Okay guys, so as you saw there, the rock literally just falls straight off the cliff. And that's because the rock is like volcanic rock. So there was a big volcano here. And well, there still is a big volcano, but obviously in the past it erupted, which is what gives it Santorini that like black red color because obviously the island was at one point covered in molten lava. And that's what makes the rock black and like porous with like almost like a sponge, hard sponge texture. It's pretty cool. I actually got a bracelet made of Santorini volcanic rock made for me the other day, which I really like. So yeah, just a little interesting fact for you. That's our oregano. Yeah, they sprinkle it on the Greek salad. And on pizza. Delicious. Okay guys, that is our villa, just there. So this is where the walk ends. A little boat there, pretty cool, but yeah. That's our villa, and we don't know how to get to it from here, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Okay, so we're back at the villa. It took two hours and 52 minutes. We didn't stop the clock whenever we were stopping to film and stuff, we just kept it running. Active calories, 835. Total calories, 1,152. And total distance, 8.72 kilometers. Time to jump in the pool, cool off, get showers, get dinner. Mm. Have you seen the jury's cream? So I just need Okay guys, so it's quarter past seven. We we'll missed the sun set. Pretty standard. It's what main Francis do best. Miss the best moment, but now we're waiting for all the lights to come on behind us so that we can get some sick photos of this area here. Because I think this is probably my favorite area. This and the area over there, which has the blue domes. Um, so yeah, probably wait another half an hour for the lights to come on. Make sure the pools look sick. The most important thing is the glowing blue from the pools. I think that looks sick. And then we're gonna go and get dinner somewhere. Francis wants to get a traditional Greek meal. place called Lotta. This is where we went to on the very first day. There's chaos going on behind. It's too zoomed in. You can't zoom out. And we came here on the very first day that we got here and I got this which is the Greek style burger. Literally a burger covered in Greek spices, tzatziki, tomato pepper based sauce, pita bread, salad. Delicious. 
We also got stuffed peppers with rice and feta, and we also got spaghetti bolognese. Three main courses between two, and I'm sure it'll be lovely. Whoa. Currently quarter to ten. We've been having very early nights here, like in bed, asleep by 12. Back at the villa by 11. It's not like us. Normally we go out at like nine o'clock for dinner and stay out all night until two or three. But in Santorini it's just a bit of a different vibe and with coronavirus, all the bars actually shut at 12. So it doesn't really bother us. Haven't been drinking. I've done two weeks sober as of today. So I think I'm gonna get myself a nice cold beer to sit and have in the villa. Dinner was absolutely fantastic. Highly, highly recommend that spot. And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today and we'll pick up the vlog tomorrow morning when we decide what we're doing. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Pop in. Back again. Hello, how are you? Very good. How are you? Good? Good, very good. What can I do for you? We've got a convenient parking space just outside, and today I'm going for their number one best seller, which is like Greek scrambled eggs. I made that a combo, so I'm gonna get a Nutella waffle on the side, a glass of orange juice, a cappuccino, and Francis has gone for cheesecake pancakes. So I think it's gonna be a win-win all around. Just have to sit and wait patiently now because, as you know, it's a one man band in there, so he's doing everything. drove to the other side of the island to a place called White Beach and beside it is Red Beach. We just parked down here and we're assuming that you have to climb this hill because we saw other people doing that. So it is currently 2 p.m. and we are as far as we could possibly be away from our hometown here. We're on the other side of the island. The island's like a crescent. Shut up, sir. The island's like a crescent moon shape, and we are literally at the opposite end, at the lighthouse, at the furthest point you can get to. And yeah, it took us about 20 minutes to get here from Fira, and it took us like 20 minutes to get to Fira. So probably to here from here, 40 minutes max and the roads are pretty safe, the roads are nice to drive, it's good fun. We don't really have a plan. We've been to White Beach, which was more like white cliffs because we couldn't really see the beach. And now we've been to the lighthouse and we're just gonna keep checking off different places of interest on the map. So we are at Carivolos Beach. I think this is the main beach in Santorini. It's black sand and I've never been on a black sand beach, so that's quite a vibe and hopefully that'll make for some sick pictures later on when the sun gets a little bit lower. Um, just being in the sea, very refreshing. Not too cold at all, a little bit salty, but other than that, very nice. So along this beach, this is a massive beach. Along this beach, there's various different beach bars, restaurants, pools, all that type of stuff. So 
It's up to you which one you come to. We decided to come to Wet Dreams. Is that right? Wet Stories. Wet, <laughs> wet Stories. We came to Wet Stories. So yeah, it's very nice. A half pint is seven euros, so that's a rip off, but it is Santorini, so what do you expect? Delicious though. Wow. Okay guys, so we're here at Kavu Tagu. It's currently 10 to 7. We came here to watch the sunset and get a couple of drinks. We had an unreal day today, exploring, chilling on the beach, came home, quick showers, and then it was only a five minute drive to Kavu Tagu. So we're gonna enjoy the sunset and enjoy some very expensive cocktails. Guys, there it is. You can see it from here. This is our house. Let's go. Let's spin that. Even huh? though it's really quick to walk, let's spin that. So do this with your hand. Three, two, one. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It is Wednesday, 30th of September, and we're starting off the vlog on the iPhone today because we're just gonna run into Fira to get some breakfast from a place that me and Francis went to the other day, and I wanna show you guys where it is and what they do for breakfast there. Already done a 5K this morning, so feeling on top of the world, and dinner last night at the Tavern Santorini Mu was very good, entertainment was good, food was good, so definitely recommend going and checking out that place. So yeah. Let's go get some bagels. So we've made it to the place. This is the name of it. It's Pablo Baskets. But I'm gonna show you what we've got. It's basically like a bagel, bagel sandwich, and it's got turkey and cream cheese in it, but the actual bread is absolutely unbelievable. So, so flavorsome. Wow. And it's only two euros, 60 cent. So it's a win-win. Definitely worth 
come into if you're in fear. Okay, so this is just some random flowery garden cafe um, which we discovered in Fiera. Francis really wanted to go in, so we decided to get a quick coffee before heading home. Okay guys, so we came for cappuccino. Francis got Greek coffee, which is in this crazy little thing here. And they give us these free Greek donuts. What are they called? Lukumades. Lukumades. So it's like a donut covered in honey. Fresh OJ. And yeah, it seems pretty nice to me. There's a man playing the little keyboard over there. We then headed home back to the villa and spent the rest of the day chilling by the pool. Okay guys, so it's 10 past 11. We're ascending the hill home. There's a loud motorbike in the background. Hopefully it's gone now. I just walked into the rosemary bush. Okay, I'm gonna have to start this again when we get back inside. We had a delicious meal at Malatini. We got olives, we got a pickled salad. We got goat cheese, halloumi style. That was delicious. Um, we got sausage, casserole, and a bread, and a loaf of bread that was heavy. It was nice, but it was just way too much. And we also got homemade pasta with chicken. That was also very nice. And then for dessert, we got chocolate mousse, which was actually probably one of the highlights. <sighs> but I'm exhausted, walking up that massive hill all the way home. It's time for bed, a nice early night. Tomorrow morning, we have to get up for sunrise to get the drone out and get some sick early morning clips. And then it's another day, chilling by the pool. If I have anything I want to show you or share with you, I will. But for now, good night. Good morning. 1st of October today and the weather here is still very beautiful. It's absolutely boiling, 28 degrees. We've just walked back from the town and we're in all black because we're getting a load of photos so I am literally dripping in sweat. This morning, woke up for sunrise and had to wait literally about half an hour for it to come over the cliff and then I got the drone out and got some sick sunrise shots um, of the villa and of the town. So, that was nice and that was definitely worth getting up for. Then, at half nine, me and Francis walked into town. I took a few different outfits in my bag and we got some really nice photos in some of the more popular spots. Um, there was literally no one there, so we weren't competing with any other people to try and get the shot. And literally when we finished at around half 10, that's when the queues of people started coming in their fancy outfits with all their cameras to take the photos. And it can be quite stressful when there's a lot of people there all trying to get the same shot because it's just hard to act natural. Um, so I definitely recommend you and get your shots earlier in the day. And it's not too hot either. So highly, highly, highly recommend that. I'll show you the difference between the town when we were walking to get the shots versus when we were coming home from getting the shots. This is the difference like an hour makes in the town. So it definitely does matter. Oh, we also got breakfast at the pizzeria. Um, I got Greek scrambled eggs. Francis got Greek salad. Can't not get Greek salad, it's our favorite. And yeah, that was pretty nice. Greek coffee, fresh orange. Anything else I need to fill you in on? Oh, and we went to see my nice friend, Ami. Um, he's a little man that makes nice jewelry. So he made this one for me earlier in the week. Won't focus because I'm face tracking. He made that one for me earlier in the week and I actually got him to make me a custom one, purple, gold, but he's making that as we speak. So I'm excited to pick that up later. I love that guy's jewelry shop. We've been there twice. And today we're just gonna chill by the pool yet again and enjoy the sun. So very relaxed day, let's enjoy. What 
we have here is well it was a frozen glass a couple of minutes ago and an ice cold beer pro tip if you want ice cold beverages when you're out in the sun you need to freeze the glass Mephos or however you say it is absolutely delicious as well what a fantastic way to spend the afternoon in our villa drinking ice cold beers by the pool I haven't bought that very well at all, have I? God, in an ice cold glass, this is so much better. So yeah, the plan is just to chill here by the pool. Whilst having my ice cold beer, I like to sit on the hammock and read my little book that I'm reading. Good vibes, good life, good life, good vibes. It's very good, it's very simple and it's almost just a reminder of the things that you should be doing in life to enjoy life to have a good life and to obviously bring good vibes for yourself and for other people but yeah the pool is not heated so at this time of year in october it can be a little bit chilly but it's still very refreshing and very enjoyable <laughs> okay guys so after a nice day chilling at the pool and a beautiful sunset as always here tonight we are now going for dinner in a place called Balami. Balami? I don't know how to say it, but it's salami, but with a TH. It was my favorite restaurant. We came here on the first night and everything was absolutely delicious. So going here tonight, because I think tonight is our last night. Don't know if we'll get a dinner tomorrow night. And yeah, I really liked it. Last time I got prawn spaghetti, pro like spicy prawn spaghetti. It was absolutely delicious. We're gonna get the same again tonight. So let's go. Well guys, I guess this is where the vlog comes to an end. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit difficult trying to create a story as there just seemed to be a load of random little clips. But anyway, we got there in the end and I do really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, leave it down below in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to each and every single one of you. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.